Welcome to the Old Tom Radio Superman Show. From Boise, Idaho, this is your host, Adam Graham. Got a common email to me, adam at adamsweb.us. And be sure to check out our magazine at laserandsword.com. We have issue 9 available to you on your Kindle. Three great stories for $2.99. Uh, go to uh, laserandsword.com. Well, uh, last time we left our hero, Superman, uh, or I should say Clark Kent, was trying some complex operations with some dummies. And we'll see how that ha uh, turns out. And then we will be back after part 14. Presenting the transcription feature, Superman! Look! Up in the sky! It's a bird! It's a plane! It's Superman! Yes, it's Superman, strange visitor from the planet Krypton, who came to Earth with powers and abilities far beyond those of mortal men. Superman, who can leap tall buildings at a single bound, race a speeding bullet to its target, then steal in his bare hand, and who, disguised as Clark Kent, mild-mannered reporter for a great metropolitan newspaper, fights a never-ending battle for truth and justice. But before we join Superman, listen... And now to our story. When Jimmy Olsen and Lois Lane, condemned to death by the Incas, were hurled into the sacred river, an underground torrent in the Valley of the Shadows, Clark Kent, as Superman, rescued them. At the same time, he discovered that the river, which the Incas believe flows into the center of the earth, came above ground some distance from the Inca city. Still hopeful of winning the friendship and confidence of the supposedly lost race of Indians, Kent evolved a plan of action. Leaving Lois and Jimmy on the riverbank, he returned to the palace dungeon where Perry White and John Craig, one of the nine American engineers who had been lost, were waiting for him, still garbed in the Inca costumes they had taken from their gods. Mysteriously, Kent instructed them to stuff their regular clothes with straw so as to create two dummies. What's the idea of this, Kent? Is it another one of your harebrained plans? Don't ask questions, Mr. White. Put some more straw into the arms of that jacket. Make it look like a human being. How's this, Mr. Kent? Fine. Hold it up a minute. Ah, it's perfect. Fifty yards. I think it was you, Mr. Craig. Now, wait a minute, Kent. Wait a minute. Are these straw men supposed to look like Craig and me? That's the idea. All right, let's go, gentlemen. Now, each of you carry your own dummy. Follow me. Of all the fool stunts, this takes the cake. Come on. Just hope you know what you're doing, Kent. Careful now. It's dark here. Door to the courtyard only a few feet away. Mr. White, grab my hand. Mr. Craig, hold on to Mr. White. Okay. Here's the door. Now up the steps. Careful. All right. You'll have to climb over the wall. Too many guards at the gate. Can you see where you're going? Mm, if you can, we can. There's no time for wisecracks, Mr. White. Yes, we can see. Be quiet. Plenty of chance to yell in a few minutes. Mm, we live that long. All right, here's the wall. Now, first, we'll throw these straw dummies over. Give me yours, Mr. White. With pleasure. Thank you. Now, yours, Mr. Craig. There you are. All right. All right, now, Mr. Craig, stand up on my shoulders and pull yourself over. I'll kneel down. Wait a minute. That's right. All right. Don't worry. I've got you. Listen. What were those drums? I don't know. Probably a change of the guard. Steady, Mr. Craig. Can you make it? I think so. Yeah, I can just reach the lid. All right, now wait. I'll stand up. There. Hurry. I don't want them to see us. All right. I can make it now. Jump to the other side. Ground is soft there. Okay. Come on, Mr. White. How will you get over? Don't worry about me. Mm, if I don't, who will? I appreciate that, Mr. White, but this is no time to be stubborn. I'll be over the wall half a second after you are. No. Please, Mr. White, I can climb the wall. I've done it before. In a few seconds, this courtyard will be filled with guards. Are you sure you can get over by yourself? Dead sure. Oh, all right. Steady now. I'll hold your ankles. There. Can you reach the top? Yes, I'm taller than Craig. Here I go. Fine. Jump. I ought to hop over myself. Can't. Oh, how did you do? Oh, I'm an old pole vaulter. All right, come on. I'll carry these dummies. Where to? Up the mountain. Hurry. Follow me. Watch your step. It's dangerous here. Uh, it's terribly steep, Kent. How much higher are we going? 
My wind isn't too good. Come on, not much more. Careful, don't dislodge any of these loose stones. I can't. Uh, I'm afraid I'll have to rest. Right here, take my hand. It's just another 20 feet or so. All right. We're, we're way above the palace now. Just a little further. All right, this is fine. There we oh. are. Now to set up the dummies. I'll stand them up here. The moon gives just enough light to make them look real. I don't get the point of this, Mr. Kent. Mm, if you ask me, there isn't any point. Oh, yes, there is. Both of you are going to be killed. What? Huh? I mean killed in effigy. That is, these dummies will die horrible deaths. Oh. <laughs> we'll prop them up against this rock. Over here. There. Well, I'd be fooled myself at a distance. How they look to you, Mr. Craig? In this moonlight, they look quite realistic. But well, what happens now? Well, now I attach this piece of string to your dummy... And this string to Mr. White. There. Now, a little yank, and they go plunging down into the gully below. You get it? Not quite. All right, now watch. Now we send the Incas a few stone calling cards. Now keep low. What do you mean? Are you going to let them know we're up here? Of course. They've got to kill you. Now, Kent, if you're off your... Maybe so, maybe so, but here goes anyway. Yeah, this rock is just the right size. There. Now, a flock of smaller ones. There. Uh, there we go. Ah, swell. Now, listen. See? They're swallowing the bait. All right, come on down here, behind the rock. We have to hide. Uh, Good and dark uh, behind this boulder. Uh, We'd be able to see them coming up the mountainside. Right, I'm here. All right, let's go. go. Can't keep your uh, hands away. That's fine. There we are. Uh, this is fine. Box seats for the big show. I'm going to enjoy it. I don't like this, Kent. What if they aren't fools? Don't you worry. They will be. But you'll have to do a little acting. I'll give you directions. Listen. They're coming closer. They're beginning to climb the mountain. Yeah? All right, Mr. Craig. Lean out and yell. Mr. White, they're coming. Mr. White! They're coming! Swell. All right, Mr. White. Here's your cue now. Shout, hurry, Mr. Craig. Hurry, they'll get us. No yachting business. All right. Hurry, right, Mr. Craig. Hurry! They'll get us. Excellent. Now, at the proper time, all I have to do is pull these strings and Mr. White and Mr. Craig plunge to their doom. They're coming closer, Kent. Good. You're going to enjoy this. No, 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 I'm not. I can think of a lot of places I'd rather be right now. I see them. More than a hundred of them. Like a pack of hungry wolves. All right, Mr. Craig, at the top of your voice, yell, Quick, Mr. White, over this way. Quick, Mr. White, over this way. Good. Your line, Mr. White. Look out, Craig, don't slip. Look out, Craig, don't slip. That's it. They quieted down because they see the dummies. Two of them are stepping forward. They're raising their hatchets. Mr. Craig, shout, Mr. White, look out. Mr. White, look out! That's it. Now, when the hatchet hits the dummy, scream, Mr. White. He's throwing it. Here it comes. Oh. I'll pull the string. There it goes. Here comes the hatchet at the other one. Scream, Mr. Craig. Oh. There goes the other dummy. Oh. Well, they fell for it. Hook, line, and sinker. Wonderful. Gentlemen, you're both dead. Ah, it's amazing. It worked. It worked. Congratulations, Kent. That was brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Yes, it worked, but what does it accomplish? I'll tell you. Nehru and the rest of the Inca Council now believe that we three and Lois and Jimmy have been killed. That will give us a free hand to act. What do you mean, act? What are we going to do? Well, the first thing to consider is, can we escape? The second thing is, do we want to escape before we make the Incas agree to allow the government to build the Trans-Hemisphere Highway? What do you think, Mr. Craig? Well, if we merely escape, our mission has failed. It'll still be impossible to build that road. What do you propose, Kent? Well, I was coming to that. Suppose, working secretly, we were to do something for the Inca people. After all, they want progress. Now, what one thing can we do to show we mean them no harm, but on the contrary, we want to help them? Do you know, Mr. Craig, some some big thing? Well, let me see. Well, I really don't know, Kent. They seem to be self-sufficient. All right. Well, I'll have to find out. But meantime, let's be getting back to Lois and Jimmy. I promise to return at dawn. If we start now, we can just about make it. Pretty sure I know the way. Follow me, but watch your steps. Making use of his amazing power of being able to see in the dark, Kent leads Perry White and Craig safely to the riverbank, where he left Lois and Jimmy. There, while a happy reunion is taking place, he excuses himself on the pretext of searching for more wood for the fire, and as Superman streaks like a comet back to the palace. 
Still in his Inca costume, Kent makes his way through the great halls until he comes to the empty council room. And there, hiding behind some draperies on a balcony above the room, Kent stands motionless as the chief of the tribe, Nero, and an Inca leader enter the room. Are you certain, Numachi, that both men met death? I am, Nero. It was the chief engineer and the old man who was captured with the four others. Mr. White, he was called. He who escaped from the dungeon. Sir, Lumati, uh, you saw them plunge into the valley? I did, Nero. Both were struck by golden hatchet. Good. If Cuba called away, we can soon put an end to the eight others imprisoned in the tunnel. What do you think, Lumati? You, you know I agree, Nero. I have always agreed with you. Death to the white men. Death to all who intrude upon our sacred mountain. When shall they die? Hey, there is no time like the present. Shall I summon the warriors? Yes, yes, assemble them in the courtyard. It shall be done, Nero. Death to the white men. Wana la kill. Death to the white men. Wana la kill. <laughs> Nero's heart is filled with hatred, and the lives of eight American engineers are hanging by a thread. Can Kent save those lives and at the same time win the friendship and goodwill of the Inca nation? It seems impossible, fantastic. Yet that is the task that lies before him. What will he do? Things are rushing to a terrific climax, so don't miss a single thrilling episode. Tune in and listen with Superman. Don't forget... Tune in again for the next thrilling episode with Superman. Look, up in the sky. It's a bird. It's a plane. It's Superman. Superman is a copyrighted feature appearing in Action Comics magazine.